Number 6. You are at the docks and given a very hard task of keeping Sam alive with a spirit inside of him. I'm up to my ears and you jump up the ledge and ice force to try and kill a blood of deadites Damn, before they so kill good. Sam. The most effective combo of attack is using two rockets, or one rocket and two boomstick shots. You have to go through three rounds of killing deadites and then face the Grim Reaper at the end of each round. The Grim Reaper will try throwing objects at you or try and stun you with bones. So you have to kill him. You have three rounds to complete, so you have to face him three times. Also, you can only target the closest enemy. This means things will get extremely annoying for you because you'll be forced to try and kill the closest enemy with two rockets so you can target the next enemy. I found a glitch which is very handy for these situations. You have the ability to go to rage mode. In rage mode, you can hit a lot harder with weapons, but that does not make it so great. When you have activated rage mode, it takes about 5 seconds to change your form. While you are changing, all your enemies will stand there and wait for you to be done. And this will reset whatever they're doing to go to idle standing mode. Except for Sam, who runs around like he has a firecracker up his ass. The bloated deadites will reset their charge to idle standing. This will give you enough time to lay a rocket before changing back to normal form. While you're changing back to normal form, the rocket would have finished up the airbag deadite and makes the next one ready to be killed. So keep switching if you need them to stop charging. This works in other places also, but the here is the most effective. We got some dead and dead crime over here. Number 7 This is a bit like the rage. If you fall off any ledge or any building or into holes, your character will climb back up. The enemies will not be idle and they'll try and harm you. When these bloated guys try and hurt you, they'll blow up, but not harming Ash, although he'll make you gag on the smoke. Number 8 If you load up a save, or you go into a level, sometimes the map is not completely done. It forces you to fall off the world, or see through walls that you can't go through. What happens is you just have to reload the save, so you gotta save often. Number 9 I looped this because I didn't want to spend ages recording. Did you notice? I'm lagging. It's not just my computer, it's this game. If you jump on objects sometimes, you lag like mad. Just don't jump on objects. Number 10 Monsters falling off the world has happened a few times. Just as bad as getting monsters getting stuck in the walls, these fall off. And it has happened for bosses for me, and it's annoying because I have to load up the save. Jump to left. Dude, roll. Fire. Don't stand still. Keep moving. Dude, move. 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 Dude, move. You're getting hammered. Dude. Keep firing. Roll. 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 Dude! God damn it! What the hell are you doing? Don't eat my controller. You owe me 50 bucks. Oh, huh.